Many of you must have received this viral message over WhatsApp claiming the ATM is being closed due to some ransomware cyber attacks. So what is this all about? Hello guys, you're watching TechBot and today I will discuss with you everything you need to know about WannaCry ransomware. So what is WannaCry? What are ransomware? Why are the ATMs closed? Is your money safe? What should you do to protect yourself? Don't worry guys, I'll tell you everything you need to follow to protect your data as well as your money. Now just a reminder, if you are still not subscribed to my channel, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. So what does the term ransomware mean? Ransomware are basically malwares that get installed on a computer and encrypts or locks almost every data on the computer. And to get back access to your data, you have to pay some ransom amount, probably in bitcoins. WannaCry ransomware is also similar, where it provides you a bitcoin wallet address and you have to pay $300 within 3 days. If not, then the price will rise to $600 and after 6 days, your data will get deleted. Now all this started back in the year 2013 where a group of hackers known as shadow brokers hacked the National Security Agency of America. They stole all the secrets and started leaking out the secrets in the year 2016. Where WannaCry is another group of hackers who somehow got hold of the leaked information about a vulnerability in the Windows operating system. The information about the Eternal Blue exploit gave the ransomware the ability to spread over interconnected servers. It easily spreads over the LAN network to all the connected devices and then installs a backdoor called the Double Pulsar. This grants the ransomware full access to the device's file system. Even when cybersecurity researchers tried to find a way to eradicate it, they found that this ransomware has a kill switch, that is it kills itself and all your data whenever someone is trying to track it down. It was on 12th May 2017 when this ransomware caused an epidemic outbreak and started infecting devices all over the world. Companies like Hitachi, Telefonica, FedEx, Renault and even the National Health Service was infected. This ransomware mostly spread across the devices in the European country and the Eastern Asia. Once the data gets encrypted, it is nearly impossible to retrieve it back. As it is found in most of the cases, even after paying the ransom, the data is not unlocked. So now the question arises, how can you recover the files affected by the ransomware attack? Well, you are only left with the option to pay the ransom, which will never guarantee you your access to the files. Remember guys, ransomware can spread to all the devices connected on the common network. In the month of March, Microsoft has released an emergency security patch to all its supported operating systems. Install the MS17010 security patch to close any leftover vulnerable backdoor. Also, you should regularly update all the security updates you receive for your operating system. And always use the genuine version of Windows to receive all the latest security updates. Some other precautions you may take are that you should avoid using any pirated software, you should not visit any unknown links. Do not open spam emails, always do backup your important data in an external hard disk or use the cloud service and always use a good registered antivirus. Many good antiviruses warn you about the malicious links or malicious websites and prevent downloading of malicious files. Also make sure you carefully follow the steps which I am going to show you now to prevent installation of any ransomware on your computer. Head on to the control panel of your computer, go to programs and features. In the left pane you will find turn windows features on or off. Over here, uncheck the box with SMB CIFS file sharing support and apply the settings. But the question still remains, why are ATMs at risk? Well, that is because all the ATMs use Microsoft Windows XP as the operating system and Microsoft has stopped supporting any software updates for the Windows XP. Now this leaves the ATM machines vulnerable to attack to the ransomware. But don't worry guys, your money is not stored in the ATM machine. It is securely stored in the bank servers and there is a very strong firewall working at the bank servers which is quite difficult for the ransomware to attack. But any saved card details on your computer which you use for shopping is not at all safe. Again if you are a Linux or Android or a Mac user then there is no need to fear from the WannaCry ransomware. But again there are other ransomwares out in the market as well. Thank you for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please like, comment and share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more such awesome updates and be safe on the internet.